Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing one of my first cooking videos in a very long time. Um, it's my first crock pot cooking video. And it's going to be for my double cheesy macaroni. And it comes from my crock pot cookbook. But I'm going to share it with you guys. And yeah, let's just get on into this. First, you need two and a half cups of elbow pasta. Then, in a saucepan, you want to boil some water. And then once that water is boiled, you will add the measured out two and a half cups. Ooh, can you guys see that? Two and a half cups of macaroni into the water and cook it for two minutes. Now while the pasta is boiling, cooking, you want to take your, your Pam cooking spray and heavily coat this inside of this, inside of the crock pot. So that your pasta does not stick to the pan. And as you do your claim, you're done. Now, once your pasta is done cooking, you want to turn off the, uh, the burner. Let's the oven. And then turn off the burner and then pick up your pasta. You want to pick up your pasta and go drain it over your other sink. And then you want to bring your pasta over here and just put it in a strainer and drain out all that excess water because you don't want all that excess water when you're cooking. And you put the pan back there. You just drain all that water out. Just drain it all out. And then you dump the pasta back in. And then you just take this yummy pasta over to the crock pot. Once you're back over your crock pot, you want to just dump all of that pasta into your crock pot. Okay. And then you want to add one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. This is just the Kroger brand. So. Just open that puppy up and you just pour all of that evaporated milk in there. Now it might sound weird that you want evaporated milk, but it helps and it makes it taste yummy. You also want to add one and a half cups of of milk. So you knock out your handy dandy measuring cup. Mine has them down the side inside so you can see. Then once you have your milk all measured out, you want to just pour that in there as well. And I know we are thinking that's probably a lot of milk with the evaporated, but trust me, you want this to be really, really creamy macaroni. And then after you're done with that, you will add six one ounce slices of American cheese. So I just have this American cheese from Kraft and it's a 2% milk one. And I'm just gonna take these in and just tear them up and throw them in. You can add a little bit more of the cheese if you would like than just six slices. I usually add about nine to make this really, really creamy. You just tear this all up. You just kind of take the piece of cheese and you just rip it, rip it, rip it. You just, you're just going to take little bites and peel it apart like a sandwich or something. I don't know. Whoops, stuck to the side. Down to my second slice cheese. So, yeah, we gotta add a bunch of cheese to this. You want this really cheesy. Yeah, they called it my double cheesy macaroni. Yep, you want it very cheesy. Okay, once you have all of your American cheese shredded, it will look like this. Here, I'll show you guys. It will look like that on the inside. And then if you want, you can add 
some salt, just to make the pasta, you know, taste better. So I add a little bit, and then I add a little bit of pepper. This is not a lot. I'm not a huge fan of pepper, but I mean, it's good. It's a good thing to use your cooking. I just add that, and then I plug it in. And I put the lid on it. The cool thing about my crock pot, guys, is it is a stay and go crock pot, um, stay and go, so you can take it places whenever it's not spilling. So I just lock it in when I'm cooking at home. And then what you want to do, here I'll zoom it in for you guys. And then what you want to do, you want to turn the dial to low. And then once you do that, zoom you guys. Back out. Woo, you guys are nice and zoomed back out now. What you want to do is grab your handy dandy phone or your any other timer you have. But I like to use my phone. And what you want to do, I use my phone because I'm on it all the time. So you want to set your timer for three hours. Yes, you want to take your phone for three hours, and then you start it. And then, so in about three hours, you'll be ready. But in an hour and a half, I will come back, and I will add more cheese and more milk. About, yeah, about an hour and a half to half an hour. I will come back, and I will put some more milk and cheese in it. Make it extra and cheesy and creamy. Guys, okay, so we have about 43 minutes left um, on cooking time. So right now, I'm going to add the half a cup of milk and the shredded cheese. First, I'm going to uncheck this and then open it up. Ooh, it looks really, really cheesy and kind of done on the sides. Huh. Weird, but okay. And then I'm going to get a spoon before I add the milk. I'm just going to give this a good old stir. Be careful because it can be hot. Um, I guess I should have stirred this up first before I add cheeses. But, we have about an hour left, that'll be good. Let's so get all the cheeses mixed together. And I like to add actually like a buttload of cheese to my um, macaroni. I love cheese. Daniel. Give that half a cup. Give that half of our milk in there. I'm just going to do that. And that is in the sink. I will have the cheese. And then, what you gotta do, what you have to do is you gotta use a shredded cheese. So I have this mild cheddar jack from Kroger. The bug in here. I'm just gonna add as much as I think we need. I like to add a buttload of cheese. Like I like to add a lot. So here, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, just look like that on the inside, and then we're gonna stir it up. So yeah, just stir this bad boy up. You can always add more cheese later, and um, once it's starting cooking. I'm going to stir this up, and then once it's done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, and this is what it looks like when it is done. And then you can just serve it and enjoy it.